Does it bring you joy? In Marie Kondo's famous, brilliant book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, she shares the single most important question to ask when looking to whether you should hang on to an item or let it go. And the question is this one, does it bring you joy? Now, I think beyond trying to declutter your space and your life, this is a brilliant question to ask when looking ahead at all you want to create and accomplish in your year. Hi, I'm Carol Schulte, and today I want to share why this simple but powerful question is the only one you need to ask yourself when setting yourself up for success in 2018. Now, I'm all about setting intentions, resolutions, and goals, oh my, but sometimes I get a little overambitious, and perhaps you can relate, and think that the more I put on my plate, the more I'm going to be able to get done. But unfortunately, I've learned the hard way, that is not the case. And so this year, I'm committed to simplifying. And one of the ways I'm going to do that is by asking this question. And if you ask yourself the same question, it's going to help you in three ways. The first, it's going to help you stay focused. At any given moment, we are going to be inundated with opportunities and ideas and options. And it's difficult to choose what to say yes to and what to say no to. But if you know ultimately what you're doing is what's going to bring you joy, then that is what you need to put your focus and attention to. Number two, it's going to help you stay true to you. There are so many things that are going to distract us. I know for me, it's impossible sometimes to really stick to what I have on my plate. But stop looking at what's going on around you or what other people are doing around you. Stick to your journey. Stick to what brings you joy. And then you'll be true to you. And finally, number three, it will help you get back on the bandwagon when you've fallen off. Let's be honest, you and I are both human. We're bound to fall off the bandwagon at some point, and that's okay. But when we are committed to doing something that is meaningful to us, that ultimately brings us joy, the chances of us jumping back on once we've fallen off increase exponentially. So when you're looking at setting your intentions and goals for this year, ask yourself this important question. Does it bring you joy? Now I want to keep the conversation going and I want to hear from you. So please share in the comments below. What are maybe you going to take off your list for this year? What are you going to do differently as a result of asking this question? And also share this video with people in your life that you think could benefit. Sharing is caring after all. And for those of you who don't yet know what you want to set up in your year ahead, that's okay too. Wherever you are is exactly where you need to be. And check out the comments below because we do have an exciting event, how to achieve all of your dreams in 2018, and there are still some spaces left. End of promo. Until next time, I'm Carol Schulte. Have a fabulous day, and don't forget to keep dreaming big, playing big, and living big.